Hey everybody, Typical Toy Reviews back with another Funko Pop review. This time we are looking at number 369 in the Marvel line. Um, this is the subline of Venomized Pops, a Walmart exclusive Venomized Ghost Rider. Uh, you may notice that I have them out of the box. Some videos I have them in the box, some videos I don't. I just attribute this to my laziness to put them back into the box because most of my pops I display um, out of the box, but I'll just give you a quick look around here. There he is on the side, the picture. Here is the rest of the line. You have the Eddie Brock Venom, Venomized Captain America, Venomized Iron Man, Venomized Hulk, uh, Carnage with my man in there. I, I don't really know what his name is. Uh, I'm not a true Spider-Man fan, but I do like the pop. There's the top with his face, pretty cool, and the standard bottom. So let's get that out of the way and take a closer look at this pop. Now this guy I actually um, got at a surplus store in Amish country, and he was only five bucks. They had three of them, and I realize now I, I probably should have bought at least a second one just to keep in box. Um, but the other boxes were damaged, so I just took this one, and it was good enough for me. But for five bucks, this is an awesome pop. I've never seen it in stores, and I know a lot of people had trouble finding it. Um, now, getting into it, it is a bobblehead, which I don't really like the bobbleheads. I spoke of that in one of my other videos, so that's something else. Um, but this one, it, it works. Um, except, <laughs> except for when you look at it from the back, and you can really see the spring, but his head's kind of heavy, and the sculpt is a little bit lower in the front. Now, there's a lot of detail to this sculpt, but the body reminds me a lot of the Venomized Hulk, uh, just the way it's standing. I don't know, it's probably a lot different. You can see in the picture there, it just kind of looks the same to me, vaguely. Um, it's still great though, it's all black plastic, it's got a little bit of translucent flames coming out at his sides here. Um, he's got chains wrapped around his arms in black, and then he's got some of the venom tendrils around his ankles going up his legs. I hope this is uh, focusing for you guys here. Um, he's got the <clears throat> symbiote on his chest, and a little bit of white going down around his knees. Um, he's holding chains in his left hand. Again, not super detailed being black against his black body, black plastic, um, but at least it's there. It would have been really cool if they did it in silver, um, but the black doesn't look too bad overall. Now the head sculpt is really what wins this piece over in my book. Um, he's got the nice bone mask almost it looks like. The venom eyes are there. Uh, as all the pops have, <clears throat> sever the carnage, of course, and uh, the head, the venom tongue, and the flames coming out of his mask are all in this nice translucent orange plastic that goes into painted plastic at the tips. Um, I'll bring a light over here, and hopefully you could kind of see better what I, I mean here, how it's painted at the top. Um, this is very similar to what was done with this six inch balrog here. Now the top of his head is translucent flame. And then if you can move him back, bring him over here, similar to what they did with Beric Dondarrion's sword as well with the translucent plastic. Um, now right away with this comparison, you'll see that the venomized Ghost Rider is quite a large pop. He's definitely bigger than standard. Balrog is a 6 inch, and this is also the camera angle, he, he's not as tall as it seems. He's probably uh, a good inch shorter than the Balrog, but a good inch taller than uh, Beric Dondarrion. So it's definitely a great size pop for the value uh, when it was an 878 pop. Um, I believe he goes for around 20 to 25 on eBay, but definitely look out if you can get this guy for under $20. I'd say you're doing good. It's an awesome pop to have in the collection. It looks great on the shelf. And like I said, even though I'm not the hugest Venom fan or Spider-Man fan, it's still um, an awesome pop all around. It just stands out on its own and looks really great as its own piece. Um, but yeah, that was it. That was my uh, review of the Venomized Ghost Rider. In my last video I rambled on for a while about some things, but I'm going to cut you, cut you guys loose here. And, uh, you know, comment down below if you found this pop in Walmart. Like I said, I never saw it in, in any of my stores, and it wasn't until I got it at the surplus store that buys out uh, Walmart returns and damages and things like that. 
Um, so like the video if you liked it, and uh, subscribe for more videos uh, throughout the week. Thanks again for watching, guys.